It's Sandy with Urban Rebel Designs in Aztec, New Mexico. When you jump on, say good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you're located. Tell me where you're from and tell me what you're working on this weekend. Um, I'm unbelievably excited about our project today. We are going to be painting small appliances, specifically my stand mixer. Um, I've had this mixer for years and as you can tell from the back it was the original red but life has changed in several years and I want to change the color. Hi Dixie Belle, hi Kelsey. Um, so we're going to be working on that today. I'm doing my stand mixer and my food processor and I've already done a little bit of prep work so let's back up and cover what I've done. I cleaned it really well with Dixie Bell's White Lightning, let it dry completely, and then I did two coats of Slick Stick. Um, I did one coat, let it dry for an hour, did the second coat, and I've let it set overnight. And the color that we're using today is the Moonshine Metallics in Caribbean. Look at this color. Isn't that gorgeous? So. I wanted to let you know that I did sand lightly between coats with some 320 grit sandpaper. Um, these are just some, I think they're called, what are they called? Sanding nets that I got from Home Depot. They go on my um, random orbit sander, but I just pulled one out, folded it in half, and then lightly went over it. I will tell you when you spray your first coat of slick stick you may get some drips so just be on drip patrol for a few minutes. I'm going to move all of this over and I'm going to show you how unbelievably simple it is to spray your small appliances. Let me get my stuff out of the way. We'll also be using, this is just an old, old, old wax brush that I hand up, had on hand and after I sprayed the first coat, this is heavy, on my um, food processor. I wanted to give it a little bit of texture for the second coat to hold on to, so I just took my brush and dabbed a little bit. This will help you to avoid any drips or runs when you're doing your second coat, and before anybody says anything, I normally wear my respirator, but you wouldn't be able to hear me talk if I wore it today. So we're just going to risk it, and I also have paper towels. So I'm just going to move this stuff out of my way, and we're going to get started. So again, what I did was one coat of Slick Stick. Let me hold the top up so you'll understand what it is. I did one coat of Slick Stick, let it dry for an hour, lightly sanded it, did my second coat, let it sit overnight. When I came into the store this morning, I lightly sanded it again because I want that super smooth finish. And now we're going to spray. So with the Moonshine Metallics, um, you do need to thin it a little bit. Go according to the instructions with your sprayer. Um, if you have a viscosity cup, which I think the majority of sprayers come with, use your viscosity cup until you're really, really sure of yourself. Um, before you ask, I'm using an Earl X 5500 spray station today. I also have a couple of Home Right Finish Mics in the back that I use, and the Wagner sprayers are great to use with the metallics also. I see we have somebody from Myrtle Beach, somebody from Canada. Yay, Canada! Um, we also have some new retailers in the UK. I don't know if they've got their stock yet, but if you're in the UK, be looking out for those. So this is going to be a little bit noisy. If it bothers you, turn your sound down. I'll give you a thumbs up when I'm finished, and I will also try to answer any questions that you have. Oh, hola Madrid. That's all the Spanish I know. Okay, so let me get my sprayer hooked up here. And again, it's going to be a little noisy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the first coat on the stand mixer. I'll do the second coat on the food processor, and we'll take a look at what we've got. So here goes the noise.
Okay, and just that quickly, I have painted two of my small appliances that will now be gorgeous in my kitchen. Um, I love using a sprayer. There are a couple of tips. You do need to thin your paint. General rule is two ounces of water to eight ounces of paint. Check your viscosity. If it's too heavy, you're gonna get big splatters. If it's too thin, you're gonna get splatters. Um, also, another helpful hint that I happened to learn the hard way is when you clean your spray gun, leave the top off until it's completely dry because it can grow mold if you close it up. Um, also, like I said, I'm gonna use my brush. It's over here. And the pieces that I did the first coat where it looks like it's a little thick, I'm gonna go in and just dab. And you'll see in just a second when I show you the food processor, why I'm doing this. With the metallics especially, this will give you just a little bit more texture for your second coat to grab hold of. It also gives you a smoother, more even coat. And I'm not sure if I'm going to top coat these with gator hide or not. I haven't decided because none of these are going in the dishwasher. They're all going to be hand washed or wiped down. I may not need to. I'll decide on that when I finish. Looks like we have a question. Cat Reyes wants to know if the spray gun is heavy. Uh, no. It probably weighs two pounds, maybe. Um, and you're not supposed to turn them upside down to spray them, but I always do what you're not supposed to do. So a lot of times you would be really surprised at what this little old lady can get herself into, the positions I can get into. And I have been known to spray upside down. Um, it will not take this very long at all to dry so I can do the second coat and I can take it home tonight and set it up in my kitchen. One thing that nobody knows about me is I love to cook and I love to bake and I've had my stand mixer for, what, 20 years probably. So this is a great way if you want one and you want a certain color, and we all know that some of the colors are more expensive than the others, you can go to a kitchen store, find one that's been refurbished on sale, get it less expensively, go home, make it any color that you want to. Um, I'm so excited to get this set up. I'll post a picture when I get it set up in my kitchen and it's completely dry. I did want to say my sweet, sweet husband was nice enough to disassemble mine for me because you probably don't want to be pumping moisture into an electrical appliance. There are all sorts of tutorials online that you can find on how to disassemble this. I will tell you, take pictures or take a video when you're taking it apart so you know exactly what goes where when you're putting it back together. Um, and that is how painlessly you can paint your small appliances and completely update your kitchen. Uh, thanks for joining me. I know this has been really short today, but I really appreciate it. If you like this video and you have friends who like it, you can invite them to watch it. That helps all of us out. We really appreciate it. Hope you have a great weekend, and we will see you next time. Thank you.